Good morning, JCS. It is Friday the 12th, year of our Lord, 2020. I have a lot of announcements for you. The semester is winding down and next week is finals week. So for those of you who are taking finals, that will be from Monday to Thursday, grades eight through 12. You'll be taking the finals in the morning and then leaving at lunchtime to go home and study. The last day of the semester where we are getting all together is next Friday, the 19th. So the agenda for next Friday is we will have chapel morning devotion with your homeroom teacher and fellowship. And very exciting, we will be getting all of our yearbooks. So we'll have a chance to get all together and write some notes to each other. And that will be great. The graduation ceremony will be on Saturday the 20th, held virtually. Keep an eye out for that. We are very proud of our graduates. Tomorrow, that's the 13th, we will be having an open house virtually, and it will be live streamed. Please register for that. Coming up in a few weeks is summer school, open season, all kinds of names, the season and academic program, science, English, art, sports, open nature, you've heard it before, and it's going to be great. So for those of you in middle and high school, we've got academic programs getting you ready for all your tests. Register for that now. Now, here are the new announcements. We are very excited to announce that JCS is actually extending its campus, not in this direction, but actually in this direction. The second floor will be open as of July 1st, 2020. We are very excited about this. So JCS is announcing a story lab. This will be for the purpose of media, studio, and online school. It will be open for everyone for the purpose of Christian education and missions. Excellent. That will be from summer 2020. Eighth through 12th grade students will be on the second floor. That will be your homeroom. And for those of you who will be in either first through seventh grade, that will not be your homeroom. Your homeroom will be uh, where we normally are here on the third floor. The lecture hall, the courtroom, the IT lab, the dance studio, the science lab, the book cafe, the multi-purpose room, these will all be used for JCS students. These will yeah, be for your use. We are very glad to be expanding JCS's reach in our community. Thank you for your support and prayers. That is it for the announcements. Today's chapel speaker will be Dr. Lee, followed by a devotion time with your homeroom teacher. Next week's chapel speaker will be Reverend Charles Cho from the Tapestry LA Church. Keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. I'm Mr. John. Have a great day. Good morning, Juniper Christian School students and parents and staff members. Welcome back to JCS Online Chapel. Today is my last uh, chapel sermon for spring 2020. Time goes really fast. I remember uh, first sermon I prepare and then post the uh, YouTube online, you know, use the channel. That's about uh, almost about four or three months ago. So uh, it's really meaningful season. I know we went through a lot of difficulties but God is in control and then provide a lot of meaningful time and also the uh, uh, journey for each one of us. Today I'd like to talk about a very short uh, the message. It's about, once again, faith. Uh, today's chapter is one verse, one chapter and one verse, Judge, Book of Judge, chapter 6 and 24. And Gideon built an altar to the Lord there and named it Yahweh Shalom which means the Lord is peace. The altar remains in Ophrah in the land of the clan of Abazur to this day. Last, uh, about a couple times, I mentioned uh, about the faith series, sermon series. First one, it is called Yahweh. Yahweh, it means it is Lord, the Lord. So uh, the ancient time, the Israel people they call the God, but it's kind of too afraid and too fearful in the figure, uh, the you know the super supreme being. So they call not God but Yahweh. They call Yahweh. 
So Yahweh means there are a lot of meanings. One of the meanings is the Lord is provide, provision. So God will provide what we ask, what we need. He listen to us and He provide what we ask. Another meaning is this one, Yahweh. It means our God is with us, which is the Emmanuel, Matthew chapter 1, 23. So Jesus is all the time with us, Emmanuel, Jesus Christ, Yahweh, the same meaning. And another the meaning is our God is on the unchanging God, forever, eternally, He all the time with us, never ever changed. Today, another meaning about Yahweh, it is called Shalom. The Lord is peace. The book of Judge chapter 6, 24, we just read, Shalom, is that another meaning is Yahweh. Um, this time, actually, the uh, book of Judge is the one of famous persons, you could see that. There are a lot of prophets. One of famous prophets, his name is Gideon. In the days of the uh, Gideon, the children of Israel were living in the uh, constant state of fear. And all the time, they feel a lot of burden and stress. Why? Because there are so many strong enemies the, you know, raised and also attacked the Israelites. So it is called uh, the Midianites. Um, actually, they, their the defeated enemy had uh, re-emerged from the east, and then the Israelites were in fear and overwhelmed by the uh, Midianites' the power. So all the time, they kind of feel, you know, fear and afraid of their, this enemy. So, including even Gideon, the worry about this enemy, even the, you know, their country. But one day, God, God came to Gideon's life. The book of Judge, chapter 6, 7 to 10, that quickly what they said that up. When people of Israelites, they cry out, which means they, they pray to the Lord. Why? Fear, difficulties, lack of security, lack of certainty. All the insecurity, the worry stuff they faced, they started to cry out to the Lord. And they, God, He listened to their prayers. And what God did it, He sent the Spirit and then the person, the people. And then uh, to the, uh, the, the Gideon's life, and then He delivered the message. The Gideon, you're the person who's going to work fight for the Israelites. I will be with you. No worry, because I will be with you. I will give you strength and power. Like kind of Moses' story. Um, the people of Israelites at the time in Egypt, you know, the Egyptians, you know, the life, uh, they kind of been, you know, stressed out and then even a lot of burden they had. So they start to cry out to the you know, Lord. And God chose Moses and send him to the, uh, the Pharaoh's life. Um, same situation. And then a lot of worry. But like what God kindly encouraged, even giving the, a lot of messages to sign through a lot of multiple tests, God is in control. So Gideon, he realized, oh, God is with me. God is going to be help me. He's going to help me out. Gideon he became, it is called peace. A peace. And chapter 6, 24, we just read, this is the moment what Gideon worshipped the Lord. He built the altar, which means what? It's the sort of the, um, you know, the place where he could worship and say thank you. And then he called, Gideon called this place as what? Shalom, which means pray the Lord as what? The Shalom, the Lord is peace. When I trust God, when I follow God, God is with me. It is called Shalom. Let me ask this question, guys. As you read, as you listen to this message, God, He knows your situation, my situation, our situation. It could be 19 situations, even your future too, which means He's going to provide what we ask, what we need. And also, His love, unconditional love, which means He's been waiting 
Even though Gideon kept asking question, 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 doubting, 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 God, he was in patience. He waiting. He was waiting for his confession, which means what? His love, unconditional. And also, God protects from harm and dangers, all difficult situations. God protects Israelites from all the enemies. Well, this story is exactly what we have to learn, even practice in our lives. Like an Gideon, very ordinary person, God came to his life, the same thing. God comes to your life and my life. But the question is this one. Have you ever cried out to our God when we are in difficulties? Not only the test season, next week is the final season. So you're going to cry out? No. Happy time, difficult times, upset time, sad moments, even the uh, you know, exciting moments. Whenever we feel any the moments, feelings, have you ever cried out to our God? Especially in difficult season. And difficult, especially the uh, COVID-19 season. Cry out means a prayer. A lot of kids have mentioned that pray to the Lord, pray Jesus Christ. All right, let me ask this question then. How often do you pray? Only breakfast and and the lunch and dinner time before you go to bed? Lay down on your bed and pray? And the Lord, help me out. Communication, it is called prayer. How often do you pray with your sincere heart? unstoppable and your strategic plans and specific agenda and it is called action plans after prayer have you prayed like this way second question this one how often do you confess that God is in control in my life Gideon he keep doubting but he when he realized God is in control completely he made a great commitment to God and to lead the country and glorify God, His name in His entire life. How often do you confess God is in control, especially in this season, COVID-19? Once again, after coming the following the summer and then the fall semester, until we you know invented the vaccine, a lot of fear, uncertain certainty we're gonna face. But we believe God is in control. So how often do you confess this moment in your life? Last question is this one. How do you live for God since you understand who Yahweh, our God, is? Yahweh, once again, Ire, the Lord is provide. Yahweh, our God is with us, Emmanuel. Yahweh, our God is un- unchanging God. Yahweh, it is called Shalom, the Lord is peace. You know this one, you understand this one, who Yahweh is. Then, what are you gonna do for our God Yahweh in your life? Why don't you discuss about three questions I mentioned, and these three questions, and you and your home teacher discuss how we can confess, how follow, how to follow our God as a Christian, the child of God in your life, especially during COVID season, COVID-19 season, and then great confession and a great story, which is a testimony. Encourage each other, and we get ready to finish up this semester, fall, uh, spring 2020, and get ready to have new upcoming you know, summer and then even the fall academic year 2020 to 21 together. I hope that you're going to have a great, meaningful time with your home teacher, your friends, and I'll also end up this semester in the name of Christ. God bless you, and thank you very much for this great privilege and opportunity. Thank you.